We don't play Gunfire Reborn. See, that was me switching into recording mode. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I, you can like hear it. You can hear the you can hear the switch flip. It's just like. <laughs> um, I mean, the only thing that really changes is the volume. To be honest, I feel yeah. I feel like well, you become a little bit more animated, but like. Tyler, it's, it's, it is. It's not like that's. That is completely true because it's also physical. Like I become more. Even if you can't see me, I'm more physically animated than usual. Yeah, and you can like, hear that. <laughs> can, yeah, it's like it comes through my voice. I literally, you know, you can see it in like things where I am visible, but that's not that many things because the you know streams just pretty much always have a controller in hand. That's the thing. Anything where I'm talking though, and I don't have a controller in hand, my my arms are all over the place. I'm like an inflatable waving inflatable balloon man. Yeah. Outside the outside the the function. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to uh, two. This is the second, welcome to two. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, part two of the driller. Um, part two um, of the that's... driller secondary. <laughs> part two. No. Part two, which it's is the Driller Secondaries. Two, which another word is for second. Uh, it's the secondaries. Oh my shit. Yeah, it all comes together, Harry. It's like the Illuminati, but we're only with two points. So it's just a line. <laughs> it's just a single line. <laughs> what the fuck? See, I don't know why I need to point this out, because I just, just there's no benefit to this, but I just like explaining the fact that we're like recording this like well and not actually not that in advance actually. What I did yesterday, as in on Sunday, it was far more in advance. Um, it was like, you know, I guess three days. That video will be out three days after this one. And I recorded it yesterday. Anyway, so we're recording in advance because as you're watching this, I am not in the country. <laughs> I'm in... You're actually leaving the country now. It's that big of a holiday. We're going to, Fr we're going to France, Tyler. It's not that wow. impressive. This, this, honestly, you can... But obviously, it's not hard to imagine you can go further away in England from home than you can in France sometimes. You know, if you went to the top of England, you're further away than you are if you're in the north of France, um, basically. I feel like that's kind of obvious. Um, speaking of being the furthest away from home, as in, I mean, furthest away from being a good weapon. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> Um, I mean, there, there is a part of us that was like important that we did this. This, this, this didn't get delayed because it's like, yeah. you know, because of the positioning of my holiday to when this video would have been recorded normally. If we had just not bothered recording it in advance, then it would have just been delayed post the um, actual patch notes of season four, which would include whatever changes, how big or small they're making to the Sabata. Um, so it's like the one where it, we just want to get this one done before season four. Not, not that there was any reason for it to not be done before then, but it could have been. It almost could have been. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, and this is I the only one that matters in that sense, <laughs> as far yeah, as we it know. Needs to be, it needs to be reinforced that we are... The Sabata is like the one weapon where you we people have like the go-ahead from the devs right now to shit on. Because we know it is getting touched up. Right, it's like the one weapon that is confirmed that they're they're buffing in some regard. Um, so the fact that we're calling it weak is completely legal and like factual <laughs> because even the devs see it as being weak. Yeah, you may see it weaker than they see it, but either way, um, there is going to be a lot of Zab Zabata hate, and the devs agree with every word that comes out of our mouths. Exactly. So, what I, uh, I mean, that might not be that never, might not be true. Yeah. Screw you, Revan. I agree with that, though. I agree with that. That's the Barter Lover. Um, yeah. Do you know the Barter Lovers actually have smaller penises? I don't, I'm not surprised. They're Just in general. I'm comfort in how tiny and, and minuscule the Sabata is. See, like, a, 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 a sibling in that. Um, <laughs> unlike the your average EPC or wave cooker enjoyer that's that, that hunky... Hung, 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 hung piece of metal. The thing is, uh, <laughs> the is a bit, uh, the EBC is a bit of a chode, really, but that's not the point. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, shall we? We don't need to do the ratings because you would have watched part one. No, I, I've got it, Tyler. The Sabata is like the Sabata is like a butter knife. Um, the Wave Cook is like a Swiss Army knife, and the the EPC is um a chammer. A sledgehammer with a knife strapped to it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like a kitchen knife attached. Like it's like a kitchen knife mixed with 
Uh, like a, a mallet, I guess. Yeah. It's a bar, yeah. just like a, a, a plastic butter knife. <laughs> <There's> a bar. <laughs> Going from further, yeah. um, I guess I guess by I don't know if we will need to show the rating system again. Not within the same uh, sub component, which is driller. Maybe not. You just remember, just remember from last time, um, what it is. Um, so not that I start. always remember. One is, uh, unusable, but that's the thing. You know, if we were to like rate the weapons themselves, we might give Sabato like a one, maybe. But it's like that's not quite how this works. So there's not actually going to be as much, in the numbers sense, there isn't going to be as much Sabato hate as it seems. Like yeah, there shouldn't be at least. But yeah, right. Um, well, it's off to a bad start, in all fairness, though. It's, it's not. This... Well, it's like a pretty standard ass tier. You know, it's like not every tier one is going to be particularly exciting. We've got oh. I didn't realize it was that much. Time zero base spread. Uh, oh, we got oh, plus. Isn't that only in the first shot? I don't know. Then we got plus five magazine size and minus 0. 0.6 reload time. Well, I was thinking about this, and so my ratings were immediately just going to be like three, two, three. And you're like, oh, but magazine size. Like, no. No. You don't need it. I don't think. I feel like for all the yeah. best builds, um, reload speed comes in more so. You know, even explosive reload where you might want more magazine size. I can't remember if it reduces reload time. It doesn't. But either way, reloading quicker is better, I feel like, with that even. Um Hold on, I'm because I am I'm like confident as hell that it Yeah, pinpoint accuracy on the first shot is that. How much do we value that? <laughs> How much I, not I don't at all. Yeah. I'm not even sure if that's used by people who use automatic fire. That's the thing. Um, so that's why I might suspect it. Um, so, okay, so would you rate magazine size higher than that one, then? Maybe we yeah, would. See. I, I, all I would right. rate that, like, a one. I don't see the appeal at all. It's not like the accuracy is that bad, generally, anyway. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess the point is, if, you, if, you're a bit more, if you're a bit more measured with it, every shot can be this. It's not per magazine. It's just the first shot from... It's just once it's returned to base spread, your accuracy, once it's at... Once it's when there's no recoil involved, once you've like it's cooled down basically, it'd be a, it'd be a perfect shot. So you can technically make every shot be like this. Maybe one's a bit silly, going to be honest, but same time. So I, I mean, I guess I would pretty I would happily agree with them being the same. Then uh, magazine and reload. I don't know if that's your opinion though. Is it that it's yeah, the same? I it's just preference, really. I mean, it's slightly handier. Um, and you know, want to make you reload, like close of reload. The uh, the mag size is kind of preferable in tranquilizer rounds since it decreases your mag size, so brings it back. Yeah, I don't know. It's, they're like both fine. It's mag size and reload speed. It's just up to you. That sounds to me like two, three, three. <laughs> Yes. Wow. All right. Okay. So the Sabata sort of has like a similar issue to the Bulldog with its damaged and ammo mods. I feel like. So we got plus forty max ammo and plus one direct damage. Oh, because you think these are more. Well, then you must on think a, they're more equal than the, the Bulldog's ones. Then. On a very genuine note, you don't need more ammo with the Sabata. If you're if you're a Sabata isn't doing good damage, you can have all the ammo in the world and it doesn't fucking matter, right? Like, genuinely, I think Sabata is at its best when you're just specking hard into damage. Maximum damage you possibly can. And maybe there's probably a middle ground to it. But genuinely, yeah, ammo is not a good idea for the Sabata as a thing to do. Because you'll be spending, you literally, you will die because you won't kill anything quick enough. I guess that's maybe where the automatic fire comes in. I feel like, um, so, do you want to do both of these tiers at the same time then, maybe, right? Because we've got the same damage and ammo mods here, but we've got an accuracy mod snapped in the middle that is actually a lot of accuracy, but yeah. is that to be valued more, like, at all? Great. I mean, like, it, well, the point of the Sabata is, like, accuracy. It's kind of stick of it even being viable compared to the other. Like long range usage. So yeah, I think I agree that this this is what I mean. It's top sandwich between damage and ammo, but this is probably one of those accuracy mods that probably shouldn't go 
low down just because it's sandwiched between those two things. Um, okay, but tier two actually, what would, what would be your ratings? Because I, I, I can't well, really I'm just going to look through my support. And so far, I have three and three. I and mean, literally, three of my builds use both. I would say three and three then, because I was originally going to go for like four and three maybe, because it's just a lot of ammo, but I get the point, and I think I actually agree with it, to be honest. About yeah. damage like, output some of them, being more important. Some of them, you know, is a bit varying. Tranquilizer rounds, more ammo, realistically, right? Because um, then you stun more. Um, but with, mm -hmm. like... Ricochet, um, fully automatic. I mean, that kind of thing. Like, I don't know. It goes either way, genuinely. Do you think in tier three though, one of those dips, or is it uh, probably? I would imagine since uh, they ain't the. Uh... I don't know. Would that be the ammo? Uh, well, first of all, I don't use the. Um, the recoil one in any of them. <laughs> Sorry, as much as I say it's a three, uh, it's fucking big it at all. Um, and I think it might actually be um, three for three again, which is, is not that surprising considering I tend to respect Harley to damage a hard. But I don't know. It's they're just you wouldn't really go for the middle ground. I mean, you might because you're better, but no, they're just. If you're not taking a shit ton of damage, it feels terrible. Or if the point isn't your bullet damage, you can spec in ammo, like tank rounds or explosive reload. Like, tons of ammo is fine because it genuinely just helps those objectives, not actually doing stuff. I think, well, you... definitely explosive reload. I mean, I want, yeah. I, I've got a weird hand for me to use tank rounds again. Um, the problem, well, I mean, we'll get to tank rounds, I guess. Um... But are we going to give these equal ones, or do we do we actually need to give the accuracy one a lower rating, possibly? Because it's Probably just you two, realistically. Yeah. yeah, it's Probably a shout with for the automatic one. Maybe I should switch off that. For now, I just have that. One. I think I do actually have a full auto build where I take ammo in tier two and accuracy in tier three, which is kind of weird. Um, but that's because once again. It always it still feels like at least one of the MO mods is essential. Um I still have that feeling to Sabata. But uh I'm comfortable with a three two three. If that makes any sense to you. Yeah. Not I too it's, bothered. It's fairly balanced, I do think. In ammo and damage. Can't deny though, very boring. <laughs> it, it, yeah, well, I mean, that's that is so. We're not going to have this. Isn't a debate because we actually, I think, we do actually agree on this. Um, even though I get completely get that side of it, as in that it's a side. Is that the Sabata's kind of meant to be boring? But it's just like I'm not sure I care. It's boring, and boring is not good. <laughs> it, yeah, I can't really um. I don't know if I sympathise with those people. I do acknowledge that side that side is taken though in conversations about the Sabata. Um whether or not those people are worth my time is a different question. Um And I think another part of that is this next tier. Yep, tier four, we got I... weak point bonus and direct damage. Both of which are actually fairly oh, yeah, significant. It's a high damage bonus and, and the other two mods. And obviously it's a significant... First of all, the mods have got three damage mods, which is kind of dumb. Um, that just annoys me, just in general. <laughs> and then, of course, Hollow Point Bullets. Needs... He needs all of that to actually do damage. It goes up to 80% weak point damage bonus. Take this. Yeah, I've got four of my Sabatas use weak point. Two of them are just more uh, are both the ones that use more damage? Are they both explosive reload by any chance? Uh, no, more damage is homebrew powder. Mag That's fine, skull. I guess. And oversized magazine. Okay, so no. not explosive. Well, that's a bit odd. No. Um, because with, with I'm shooting weak points with explosive reload, right? I'm not going to be shooting armor, so I might as well gain the bonus because I assume the bonus is more. Damage it's going to give you. 
Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, that, in that in that sense, then in that sense, I would say, yeah. I mean, the damage is fine; it's actually a decent damage increase. But the weak point bonus is probably the optimal pick, right? Especially since you with the Sabata, you're never not shooting a weak. As in, you you're should you should al point. you should always be. I guess is a better. Yeah, way to put if it. you're not shooting a weak point, you're you're literally doing nothing. Like, yeah, unless you unless you use explosive reload, which you no no because you'll still do something with explosive reload if you don't hit weak points. Um, you'll yeah, still do good. most of the damage that that pro you'll still be doing most of the damage you can do with explosive reload, but you're still missing a lot if you don't hit weak points at the same well, if time. If you hit like armor, then it doesn't do anything, does it? But yeah. it doesn't do anything at all. <laughs> no yeah, damage, exactly. no explosives. Um, so you would you have to shoot the weak point in those situations. So why wouldn't you take the more thing? So I think it's like a four, at least a four, and a, uh, maybe a three because it's not a bad shout. But it's probably a four three. I think it's just generally you're a lot more inclined to hit weak point than sabata. Hmm. And if you can't hit the weak point, then you shouldn't be using the sabata. Yeah, I mean I go with four three. I still think maybe there's a room for the that damage mod to be something else. Like maybe ignore so armor or something. Um that's like sort of the counterpoint to weak yeah, point. It's like just ignoring armor. Not armor breaking. I feel like the Sabata's the Sparta's too like pea shooter esque to armor break. Armor break makes more sense for things that have more Bullets. Yeah, no. Like maybe but, just like plus one piercing feels like something to barter would. Yeah, or add pierce. Yeah, what? Well, yeah, anything like that. So we could give it a two just to illustrate a point, but. No, I don't hmm. think it's a two. All it, right, because a, a four three was pretty. That's where I was at anyway before hand. Very comfortable to me. It, not a bad pick, but weak point is most of the time the better option easy um tier five though is really difficult i guess because i was thinking that because uh, people know what this is volatile bullets plus 50 direct damage to burning enemies or acid hit bullets which adds to corrosive um damage it is it is are you using the flamethrower as your primary if so you pick volatile bullet but the argument that the other two you use the other one when it comes to giving a, giving those two a rating then it's like should you ever be using the sabata though unless you're using the flamethrower <laughs> No, because acid tips isn't good. It, it was a very not that useful thing that they did. <laughs> they, when they, when they added it, replacing the Mactera coating, which in all fairness wasn't much better. They, they, they added this and it didn't really do anything. It didn't change the, the gun at all. I don't know what they thought it was going to do, but it didn't do it. Um, and I think with, like, with that, it's just. At least, I don't know. It's like, yeah, I think it's probably the volatile, but it's for. The other one too, but even then, if you're not using the flamethrower, you would never use the fire one. So it's hard to say that. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit odd, isn't it? This is what I mean. It's like, but should you be using the sabata unless you're using the flamethrower? Um, Generally speaking, I've I've never thought of a situation. It, it just no. It is just the no. only time I do. The only time I do is actually on escort duty, where I just take sabata to deal with the rocks quickly with explosive reload that's it because none of the primaries can really do that that's the thing um so i just swap it out uh, instead the of epc heavy hit i probably do it as well um yeah probably and it's the same build actually it's dispersal compound so i have epc with heavy hitter um but i'll switch to explosive reload because it just feel, feels a bit more reliable for that stuff it's just i know it's gonna work it's the rocks but that's it so yeah that's but does that it, it's just like what does that mean i feel like the corrosive one should probably have a lower rating, but I don't know if volatile bullets is automatically a four. That's the thing. It, it, it's 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 a very annoying, interesting case. Where it literally is just kind of like, as a whole, it's like probably like a I don't know, like like it would be end up being like a two two, right? Because the volatile bullets is is incredibly situational. Mm -hmm. uh, ultimately. You pick those situations by picking the flamethrower. When you do that, it's for, it's quite strong. Right? The damage you can do, full damage, uh, volatile bullets. That's actually reasonable damage. It is genuinely it is. good damage, um, especially with you know things being fully auto explosive things. But I don't know why you do that. But the point is, you can do good damage only if you use the flame. And then if corrosive tip, but it's it's not good damage, but it is universal. But then it's like, but you're yeah. probably not gonna. Yeah, I feel like um, 
Oh, fuck me. I, I don't know. I just don't know. So, so basically, so Volatile Bullets is an interesting case where it's either a four or a two, isn't it? <laughs> Which yeah. is, like, really awkward. And I guess we just... So, hold on. So what do we think... Let's decide on something for acid to bullets, so. though. Okay. Yeah, okay. So we can... I agree with that. So... Where does that does that mean volatile bullets should be above it though? Because it's volatile just bullets. it's just more intertwined with the optimal way to use the weapon. I think volatile bullets. I'm gonna go with a three because it it would be fine if the other options was the kind of same kind of thing, right? Because it is like volatile bullets in that you know um, if you pick the right primary, you gain a boost in damage, right? That's the same as the the bulldog one. But obviously a lot worse because it's not an overclock. And so generally speaking, it evens out to a three in like a I guess an overall gameplay sense. Yeah, it's not a traditional three, but it is a three. Um, um it is just literally if the other ones like it's just so fucking simple but in my like because if you want to double down on the Sabata being boring Double down and just make the other two the same thing for the other snazz effects. It's that simple, and it will just be the most boring gun in the world. But it will do everything it needs. Yeah, see, that's that's the easy way out though, and it's a fair way yeah, out I'm, too. I'm, I'm damn well sure they'll take it. They don't give a shit about the Sabata. Look at acid coat tips. What the hell? Um... Acid coat tips. <laughs> no, it's, but that is the easy way out, and it's also a fine way out though. It's fine. Um, my, you know, but I feel like there's two other ways to do it that are better. It's just like, you know, the one of them is like make a bullet of mercy for it, and then another upgrade that's completely different, yeah, or have them all. Well, it depends on what the other thing is. <laughs> yeah, but the other thing would have to be really, really strong. Yes. Right? Like, and I, I, I don't think they'll ever give that to the bar. Um, but I don't know. I think, eh, it, it, yeah, I think it's a three and a two, but it's a very awkward three and a two. Um. <laughs> it's so annoying to think about because it's so mind-numbingly boring what are like, you talking about it's like none of that stats i'm on the edge of my sheet <laughs> it's quite a good amount of threes but it's just like on the weapon they're threes it's not it's just fucking overclocks uh, <laughs> right we've got chain hit here. here um Interesting. what Look how interesting these overclocks are. They, in all fairness, they were pretty interesting when overclocks were added. Like, these were some more right ones, but they have not aged well. <laughs> they, they have become common source. Maybe not. Really kind of Maybe not. Chain Hit is sort of one of those ones where I can't see it being bad, but I also I don't know. If, I don't think it's a good pick either. That's the kind of weird thing about it. Um, no, it, it's. Often negligible, um, like it's like if you like the default Sabato chain hit, or probably uh, the other one. Uh, well, probably that actually. I'd say if you like the default Sabato, it changes it. Yeah, but homebrew powder makes the damage more inconsistent technically. Technically, um, so some people might not like that if they're really obsessed with break points and whatnot. I don't know chain hit. This yeah, so this one of those ones where could be suboptimal for this weapon you know compared to what you could take you know let's, the, the, right, let's be honest the unstable overclocks carry the sabata right yes they they make it viable generally and when you don't pick them it is now generally a worse weapon so a chain hit is a two um the that is probably also a two even though it's generally an upgrade and i don't i don't not, feel comfortable with, with giving homebrew powder not a three. It just feels a bit unfair to homebrew powder. It's like actually just damage, and that's kind of just a good thing. You know, you think about really automatic fire. Yeah, it's great, right? But homebrew powder is the only one that actually adds damage and doesn't change anything in the way that something like explosive reload does. Right then, three. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't disagree. It's just, and that isn't that big a deal. Some people it's... like it though. I think. I don't blame them, but it's not a bigger deal. I mean, th th just because they like it doesn't make it strong. It just makes uh. it nice. <laughs> what does that? What does that mean, though? What does that mean? What is oversized magazine? Because I don't, I, I don't care. Well, it, 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 it doesn't help you really. Like it's like you get to reload less often. True, but you still not got enough bullets in your mag to never reload during a swarm. 
plus your reload takes longer. Bloody good point. It doesn't change anything, really. Bloody good points, that's mate. Cool. Bloody good points. Oh, that's a two as well. All right. Okay. Um. So the home, the home powder might actually. We'll see. But for now, definitely two, three, two. Um. But there is the unstables. Um. Well, the first one is obviously automatic fire. Um, which is automatic fire. And it does increase rate of fire, but I don't know how much of a difference. All you need to know is auto fire. Obviously, that spread is felt, and that recoil is felt. I know people like this one a lot, but it definitely has... If you look at it on a very objective level, it's kind of just downsides. But like with like this just change to how it feels to shoot the gun. Yeah, like I think um, someone like Tom definitely spouts the fact that you just need a better trigger finger and you'll be all right. You don't need this, really, <laughs> if you just have a good trigger finger. And while I think that's a, an elite trick thing to say, which I'm not sure he's ever actually said, but I'm sure he'd say it. <laughs> just go with the fact that he probably would, he probably would you, say you it. You could hear him saying it as well, though, really, aren't you? I can like, hear him yeah. saying it right now. He's outside my window yeah. saying automatic fire is, is bad. <laughs> Um, but it, it's not really though. I mean, it's probably three. Yeah, this is the thing because like... I feel I was thinking we were probably going to have to give it a four, but I know that it's only getting by on sheer popularity. But it is, it is still a good it's pick. Strong. It is still it not is a bad strong, pick. But it, 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 it takes away the range of the Sabata. Yes, it, it, it's, it's a balanced unstable. Like, and I, as much as I shit on the Sabata, I do think it's bad. It's unstable is a pretty solid. They're not bad on stables, actually, at all. I don't think they're not terrible. Automatic fire, though, is like I feel like I feel like the people who use it rate it too highly. Maybe I feel like the people who use it, I have to get the impression that like this is like the only way to use a Sabato. It's like meh. no, it's fine. It's a good. It's a, the only way to use a Sabato. The next the... one, explosive reload. But is it's it a five fun. though? Um... Does it go that far? <laughs> No, because I don't think it should be nerfed, but um, I do think it's like the only thing you should ever use is the barter for, essentially. Like, it's the only thing Mr. Barter has above the other two secondary. Mm. It's sheer damage, burst damage, and just general output that this book gives you is the only thing Mr. Barter has over the other. It's the only way that someone who isn't a fan of the Sabata is going to use it. But, actually there isn't much of a bar, I'm just wondering how popular it actually is with Sabata fans. But I can't see it being much less popular. I feel like they probably still like it, <laughs> the Sabata guys. Um, so you hit like, I think a web spitter once, acid spitter twice, reload dead. It's just nice. It's just good. And like, you know, it's actually solid against big guys as well. Victorians, it tears a massive chunk out of them. Shit like that. No, it's like a probably definitely a four. Because even though it does fuck your magazine and ammo, you don't need damage with it. Increasing your damage doesn't buff it anymore. So you can just spend the mods on the ammo to it recovers it to like the default. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah, and with the damage, it's, it's often... It's a four. It's, it's, it's strong as hell. I'm glad we can agree on this matter. But can we agree on tranquilizer rounds? <laughs> Probably not. I don't like it at all. Like, that's the... See, yeah, this is the, um, the awkward thing about... So, yeah, okay, try and guys around. Right, I did say I wanted to try it, but do I feel particularly strong about it? I don't think I do. It also reduces rate of fire as well, unfortunately for it. Um, which sort of paints it in a bad light when you compare it to something like automatic fire at the same time. It does now mean that you can't fire it as fast as you want. Yeah. It does remove that. And I don't really know if it's excusing not have it not being a guaranteed stun. Um, as in, if it was, that would change a lot, I think. You know, you still have enough rate of fire to just tap every 
you know, pretty much every most Mac Terriers in a group before they get the chance to fire, and then therefore they're all stunned, and you can just flame them until they die. But it doesn't have a hundred percent chance to stun, unfortunately. Um, I feel like until further notice, we're probably going to have to just say suboptimal because I think we're just going to have to. Um, I, what were you, you going to? What were you going to give it? Is better than trying crown. Yeah. Oh, so you've yeah, done. I, don't, I like it, but I know a lot of people rate it because it obviously it, it what did have the the strongest stun in the game. You know, stun is very strong. I don't know. You can just get so much more out of a secondary than a temporary stun. It's just <laughs> nowadays. Yeah. Hmm. Give it a. It's probably a three. But the thing is, that's the same as automatic fire, though. Yeah, I think there are about as many people that rate tranquilizer around. Well, I think like everyone loves automatic fire. You know, lower level green beards and like slightly above, like the high tier players, Sabata, they be using tranquil, right? That's that's their thing. Do they? Yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure. What a kooky bunch. Um. All right, fine. Uh, that that makes us that's make that makes the unstable three four three. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Well, here's the thing though. Sabata's got no fours. No fuck. It doesn't. It, no fives and no ones. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, um, it's. I think it's all around like low. You know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, it is fair. It's fairly balanced within the balance of itself, I guess. Um, and that's the thing. It's only got one four, which is explosive reload. I think that makes perfect sense. That feels like how it was always going to go. Now I think about it. Yeah, but I think that that explosive reload four is like an EPC wave cooker three, essentially. Like, <laughs> like that's um, about like the power level that it's residing on. We'll see. Well, see. The thing is, that's obviously that's next EPC. Uh, uh, by which I mean epic um, plastic cartridges. Could have said something different there. Yeah, I could have said epic penis crackling. The men. All right, no, it's fine. Yeah. I just mean, um, I, I'm just, all I'm saying is the EPC's mods are pretty fucking boring. <laughs> Up until tier mean, 5. Um, until tier yeah, 5, I mean. Tier 1 and 2 fate, really, is, is that. Um, yeah. Not that interested in. Being interesting, but still a lot more than the Sabata, though. Like, look at these symbols. Like, it's not just the skull and ammo and accuracy. Like, what is And we this? also do have, like, you know, we've got the charge shot with it inherently, but also, uh, I think the charge shots are most of the time not good. That's the problem I have with NPC. Yeah. Most they, builds, they... most builds, the charge shots are not great. Uh, but I'd say the best builds do actually make use of the charge shots still. Um, yeah, but we'll probably get into them more at the end because they don't really, it's not really a factor for now. Um, yeah, but we, obviously we got one. tier one, which includes regular shot tier damage one. or ammo or uh, charge shot damage. Now, here's the thing I think even in the context of those builds that do use the charge shot, it's still not a one. So I was immediately thinking like 3 3 2, to be honest, like just immediately because like direct damage comes up. Not too often, but definitely in one of the best builds and some, some other times. And ammo is always good, though, as well. But the charge yeah. shot damage, I mean, I don't think this affects Finn Containment Field. I think Finn Containment Field is always just what it is. And then yeah. Burning Nightmare is, I like, not affected by this really anyway. I used to use it with Flying Nightmare back when it was Flying Nightmare because they needed that bit more damage to, like, kill frozen enemies and that basically but since now i'm just aiming to ignite there isn't really a point in time like ever where you want that um especially considering and i i know i definitely do this so hold on let me just check i'm definitely uh yeah i'm using overcharger with uh, oh. with that and that mod but that i i would put a hundred thousand pounds on it that it's not a good idea and that you should be using ammo like <laughs> because it like overcharger consumes so well much i would argue you probably shouldn't be using overcharger yeah obviously but uh, you know there's six builds and she is that how many overclocks does it have six or seven six, six. they've all got so, six yeah you know, there's going to be one with overcharger and i should probably be using ammo but not that so basically there is not a build where you would want 
college salmon, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do you agree three, three, two then? Three, three, one. Oh <laughs> like, shit! Well, clearly. Um, in thinking about it, in this case, probably, probably. All right. It seems a bit weird, but I think I actually agree. I think I can't. I can't really disagree. It's not like I would ever recommend it's, using the, the using that. So isn't really going to benefit from it, right? It doesn't do more damage. Um, no. Well, it will. The charge shot will do. But hold on. Piston plasma does this. Does it? It must nerf the base stats, right? Yeah, it does. Which like obviously you can get that back, but you shouldn't because you just want more persistent more plasma. Ammo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so overcharge and that should probably both be you be picking ammo. Heavy hitter, you're not going to be touching that. Uh, magnetic cooling unit, don't think about it. Energy rerouting doesn't really matter. I guess you could use it, but it's not really a build. The only argument is heat pipe, but heat pipe barely owns a build. <laughs> like it's such a. I feel bad. Heat. Thing. Hold on, we'll get to it. But heat pipe should be good, but I, I don't. Know. Um. I like all right. Pipe. So yeah, um, I mean, I like its existence. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Okay. I'm genuinely, I, I there's there's no competition. Where it, it is never a preferable. We're gonna do a free free one because because right, there's a, just a problem with the EPC's normal charge shots anyway. They're in a really dire yeah. position where normal charge shots have no place, especially when you look at tier five. You know, you know tier five yeah. free could have done something there, but they didn't. Um, unfortunately. Anyway, that's fine then. Okay, we've got tier two though, which is an in a weird one, I guess, on face value. People might not get exactly what it is when they first see the EPC. Anyone who uses it probably know what this does. But you build up heat less when you're fully charged. Because you can overheat when you have when you have a charge shot ready and it will just like, you know, break and you'll have to recharge. It won't lose ammo though, but this just means you can hold that for longer. You just have a much longer window. And you're at full charge, which is actually very nice. And you'll still have plus twenty five percent regular shot velocity. Both, both are good. Both are good. Yeah. I, I would say because this comes up a lot because this is for normal shot builds, but also anything that uses thin containment steel at the same time. It's got quite a lot of use. Yeah. Um. So when, so when we look at the top tier of builds, this only really comes in for the burning nightmare stuff, or someone who wants to use charge shot builds for some reason. I mean, that mod is kind of necessary for heat pipe as well, the heat shield one, because heat pipe tanks that. Like, it makes you, like, overheat really quickly with a charge shot. So, yeah, maybe 3, 4. Maybe. Definitely 3, 3, as in, definitely 3, um, at least 3. Yeah. Um, It's just, I'm, whether or not it deserves 4, it's just... I don't know if I'm in the position to dictate that because it's just like the builds that I use definitely use this, but is it's not all about me. <laughs> um, is, is it needed to like EPC mine or just generally use that thing as a tank? Think containment field. You kind of it's because I think think containment field is kind of a hard skill to learn without like with it even, um, which I guess is is that like you could use that as an argument against it, but at the same time it's I, I feel like it's almost impossible with it. You have to be so much more precise and like ti better timing. It's just not really worth it. So it makes that so much more usable, and it's just great for normal short builds as well. So, hmm. and also this this thing is really just down to like, you know, you, whether you need that to help you, right? This is going to be useful even if you don't need it, right? Yeah, three four. It's just three four. All right, I got you. Well, you know, I like the velocity one more anyway, so. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be like, I'm not gonna, you know, like, no, yeah, you can't do that. Um, you can, you can do that. Um, tier three though, tier three, we have. It's like it's like the sludge pump one actually, isn't it? Until we get to the third option, so we got reduced um ammo per charge shot, which takes it brings it down from eight to six. Eight is pretty high starting cost, isn't it? It always it's higher than you think it is. I feel like, but we have charge speed. Times to put quite a lot. It's like it, it just goes up. It's like basically instant, or at least compared to normal. Um, and we just have cooling rate as well. Huh. Now you know efficiency is something that's always going to seem like a really good idea. I don't think I use it though. Um, especially because yeah, EPC's base charge speed shot. is pretty slow. Quicker charge shot is the best one. Though. It it it's it's. 
like often like if only because the other two is not that important most of the time i mean this is like if you're not using charge shots then you can take this because especially because heavy here to increases heat generation so but that's so that's fine um think, right either way i think all three of them are at least three like i'm you know i they're all good. Yeah, I feel like it's really hard to say that that's bad because it's definitely not. Especially any build that uses charge shots, especially, is like it's, you're definitely going to benefit from using this if you can get over um, the charge speed. With, uh, you, with it, with overcharger, it gets it back down to eight instead of ten. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> Twelve shots for me right now. Fuck me, I should just. <laughs> It's, we'll get into overcharger. I fucking can't stand looking at it. It's do you think so? Do you think? But do you think this is definitely above the other two? I can't even say that really. Like I think it it probably is. But it is or isn't. I think generally that is the most helpful of all of them. You will notice the effects of that. And that will benefit you the most in missions. Yeah, yeah. Especially but if I, you like. Um, but the thing is, it's not quite like one of those scenarios where it's like oh you don't necessarily need the efficiency because you know you'll have enough ammo to your next resupply when i use persistent plasma with this i get low often on ammo yeah um so it's, this is not insignificant hmm? especially if you're charge showing off it does piss through its ammo pretty quick yeah which mean which i think this is useful as well so really we're just talking about the how noticeable the effects are but does that actually change anything are they actually all equal? I, I don't think uh, there's any issue with us putting three feet. I don't take issue with it. It sounds like based on what we actually feel and how how we use it, that makes sense. Yeah, like it's like if you're using charge shots primarily, like those two are of equal value to each other. I think like you are sacrificing the efficiency and you are, yeah you know, sacrificing your speed if you pick either one, and you feel the effects of both. The thing is, uh, I don't actually use this, but sometimes I wish I was. <laughs> yeah, and then um, with you know, if you're not using charge shots, then you're not going to pick either of them. So you're going to pick the one on the right, and that get, that's where that comes from. So I don't know. I think they all have their spots. They're all three good, good boys. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm uh, two, four. Um, we got increased charge shot radius. We got more ammo. I think it's the same. Yep, yeah. and we've also got more um charge shot damage. Same as this one as well. Are they the same I, ratings though? I'm not sure. So the, we've got to th well, hold on. We've got to focus on the radius because that's the different. That's what makes it different to tier one. Um, no, I just I, I, that charge shot damage is a one again. Just never pick it. Just simply, if you are using a charge shot field area, you use the area. Hmm. Yeah. You don't need that much more damage. You want more area. <laughs> Do you use that because... more than the ammo one, then? I... Alright, let me... Uh, I'm ignoring that shitty fucking overcharger build where I am using the damage. Um, <laughs> I just want to assure you, I... um We will not... We, we are not going to be at odds on overcharger. Area. <laughs> I think I'm using three ammo, um two area, but I... I'm gonna switch my shitty fucking overcharges. I'm taking off both. Hopefully that makes that build a little bit better. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's equal. I I use them both equally because um, the burning nightmare benefits from the area. The more area where the ball goes is nice, um, and it does do that. Is always a worry, kind of stuff like that. I'm not sure if it affects thin containment fields explosion. I don't think it does, does it? That oh, I don't know. I think it does. But that's the thing. Well, you, the damage doesn't. This, right? Well, I don't know. Hold on, because I don't think it would. Entertainment. No, because if you just... It just changes. So, that radius, that two, that's not what... The, think containment field is free automatically. It's a three meter radius. It doesn't show yeah, so its own radius changing. Um, so, I don't think it does. Much like this doesn't change its damage. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going so to agree with that. With you would pick ammo. Um, but with Burning Nightmare, you would, could pick ammo still. You would, heavy hitter, you would still pick ammo. Like, ammo probably, realistically, is a four. 
it is it is in this boys. so it's, it's actually that's up from tier one boys. but i think i agree because i don't think it, so you're saying it's just unfair to give that a two but ammo in this case is probably more useful yeah, because that's good for ev ammo is good for every build that's the thing whereas this isn't that's no. the, that's all the, that's the only problem um, but that doesn't mean it's not doesn't mean it's not balanced though that's, so yeah. and it's a three four one i agree with that very nicely I, I would like someone to make a case because this is a take that i'm literally just realizing now like my, all my builds reinforce it never in a million years pick the damage for area well so, you know i guess the only argument is overcharger but because of doubling down there is no argument there no, but that's, no, no, that means... comes down to the argument for using overcharger though doesn't it yeah i i my overcharger had both um like charge damage uh, both of them and the uh, charge speed that shit i ran out of ammo so quick because i only had like 12 shots and it did no damage like, it, it, well, it didn't do no damage but it didn't do enough like anywhere close to enough to a gun that only has t like 12 shots right like it, it's just uh no i don't think any i mean like maybe flying nightmare would benefit from it but only if you're actively trying to get as much damage as you can out of it and not just trying to temperature shock yeah like, but i i think i don't know yeah and obviously uh big containment field doesn't benefit from it plasma splash wouldn't in any way shape or form um plasma burn doesn't like there's nothing that warrants picking area damage at all unless you want default epc charge shots that are strong and you would want more of them than ammo um like which i i wouldn't recommend at all in any way shape or form since epc charge shots on their own are kind of terrible um, yeah so um that's my hey, man, we got we got the ratings all right got the rate. anyway any we, you just did all that but the thing is we're not actually on the juice yet but we are because it starts with tier five and goes right through to the end of this segment and we it's have been the juice prodding the juice it's really hot and juicy and we've already laid most of the road work down i think we and we both think plasma splash is a one right Hmm. Um, well, no higher than two, certainly. I was thinking about yeah. it, and I think, well, the, yeah, the reason why one would make a lot of sense is because, in a lot of ways, it is actually one of those mods that is a downgrade as well. It's got that thing of exchanging direct damage, um, which just seems quite silly. You know, the, um, the drac gets away with it because it actually, well, first of all, it's not as bad, actually. You don't lose as much damage. Uh, straight up and it actually is overclocks that complement it plasma flash doesn't now i would make the case especially considering what the other two are so not only does plasma splash not have two different effects like it, like both of the others do it's also a bit of a downgrade as in it can be a downgrade like i said it converts something for damage um it could get away with not converting you could just add area damage to the normal shots and you could even bring back bouncy plasma and put it in the same upgrade and it would probably then it probably might be equal to the others maybe um as in it's so far behind what it should be it's not even that what this is has a lot of potential it's just it should have more it should have something else added to it it's even like bouncy plasma or in some way it's just nowhere close to competing with the others and it's just not a good idea even if you ignore the others most of the time so uh, i think we have to give it a one because it's like it's not a bad it's not it doesn't uh, it it almost justifies a one anyway but just for so many other reasons i want it to be different and better so fine. yeah absolutely a one um which immediately you know the other two are both start at a three but i don't know if either one rises above the other but we've got burning nightmare and thin containment field um and i hope most people know what these do now but except yeah. they might not i mean thin containment field, i think most people get thin containment field the actual thing you shoot a charge shot to make a, a big explosion it also uh decreases heat generation in general which is a nice little side bonus that's its other effect burning nightmare on the other hand um I want to point out, right? I mean, I don't. 
I'll have to ask you actually, basically, if before this change, before it was changed to Burning Nightmare, do you think both of those upgrades separately were still like freeze? Because I think Plasma Burn was already really I, good. Plasma Burn was, yeah, Plasma Burn was it. I mean, yeah, Plasma Burn was a four, I would say. Um, a four. And then Flying Nightmare probably would have been a two. Like, it only really ever worked with my build. Um, and even then, it wasn't really a good one. It just worked. Together, um, oh, they're just. <laughs> Strong so um, it, it's it's one of the most um we it's just one of the strangest mo modifications. So we've got plasma burn, which makes the normal shot still heat, but that's also been added to the flying nightmare effect because now it's part of the same upgrade. But the flying nightmare effect didn't get nerfed anyway. It still deals like times three damage. It still has the the frozen damage bonus, but it also temper shocks as well. Um, they also just made the plasma burn part stronger anyway. They added a small amount of heat that the projectiles deal in an area, right? I've talked about this. If you use Burning Nightmare, you can set swar you can kill swarmers in a small radius around your charge shots because it does a small amount of heat in an area. Extra heat as well. So it actually got stronger, which is why you can now set puddles on fire with one shot, whereas you actually couldn't before this change. Um... So I don't know what that means. I I think I'm right in assuming that it's both of our favourites, though. Yeah, it, um, and I, I think it's a four, right? Temperature shock inherently is OP as shit for driller. Plus, you know, fire is the more preferable thing you would want in your secondary, or like directly fire, because then yeah, sludge pump is also now a thing. Um, it's also a ranged fire application, right? Uh, Obviously, heavy hitter with that can destroy um, like sniper turrets. That's what I use them mostly for. Uh, it's just like even yeah, normal shots is still strong. And then you've got the the tear through area, which um, is its own thing. I mean, I don't know. It's just a four easily. It's hella good, um, and I think the other one. Is in containment field is good. But yeah, I feel like probably... there's a lot of people that swear by think containment field, but I, I definitely don't. But it's, yeah. it's it's still a three, right? It's 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 not it's not weak. It takes you can EPC mine first of all, which is if anything slightly inconvenient now because they nerfed it a little bit. Um, is still you know something you can, but also it's like theoretically the best shit in the game right it's like, still worth using in uh, combat right it's still worth learning how to use it's very strong it's, it, it's not that though is it it's not not worth using it's like the best thing ever for using in combat um i'm pretty sure like it's insanely strong at combat if you can use it which is very very difficult yeah yeah that's why i think i think i think theme of containment field is actually really cool and it got cooler after they made it so that it wasn't just for mining right because that was just kind of pissing people off it's meant to be more than just a mining tool and i think the fact that it's now this sort of um thing that has like a really high like it, it's one of the things that introduces a much higher skill ceiling it's very you know high skill but also very high reward it's not just this thing you can spam to do the scouts job for him anymore i think that change was good genuinely because yeah sure you can use it to mine but it has, I'm glad that its place isn't that anymore. And its place is actually for people who want to learn how to use something and they will be rewarded for learning it. And the people who don't won't be punished, but they are still kind of missing out, um, whether they know it or not. 4 3 1. No, That's not how countdowns work. Yeah, it is when you forget what the number two is. <laughs> Wasn't it Odie in the Garfield movie who can only count to two? Maybe. It's a really specific thing I remember from a Garfield yeah. movie. I don't remember if it was a live action one or not as well. I don't know. I just remember they were about to like jump off something and Garfield's going to give a countdown and then and then somehow he uh, Odie said something that he somehow understood and it's like, oh, you can only count to two. All right, we'll, we'll count down from two then. <laughs> Good. Anyway, Glad you we can actually count down from six. Because there's six overclocks. 
I know, right? Energy rerouting. More ammo. More charge speed. Energy rerouting is great. Because it's good for every type of build. Yeah. It's, so, uh, I wouldn't say four, though. Would you it, know, well, it, I think we're just going to have to evaluate. Because there's some things I don't know necessarily know where they're going to end up. Um, mainly Persistent Plasma. I don't know where that's going to end up. but Three. It's, it's fine. It, it is good. The EPC um, is holds its own ground with its mods, right? And by mods, I mean its tier fives are unstables, essentially. Right? Yeah, it, it it has its own set of unstables, which then you can basically turn the overclocks into the mods that you didn't get, right? Uh, like if you know what I mean. Um, like these clean mods are just the mods that would have been in tier five, switched around. Um, yeah. And, Energy it's... rerouting, I think, is a bit better for um, if you're using the cryo cannon, right? I don't know if, for the temp shock thing, right? Because I use with the sludge bomb, I use heavy hitter, but I might use energy rerouting with the cryo cannon because that's more burning night, but that's more burning nightmare shots, that's more charge shots, but also because you have more single shots that you can just use to just pick off more grunts. With heavy hitter, a single grunt doesn't seem worth it. Heavy hitter is more for the sludge pump, in my opinion. Energy rerouting is really good. I might. I should be tempted to give it four because I just think it's extremely flexible. Um, and, well, that's it. But <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good about it. You know, four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what? You... Not... All right, hold on. We'll, st we'll okay. We'll just give it a three. Um, I, I don't know how it's so so domineering that it's a four, but that's not like, what four is necessarily though. It kind of is. It, I feel like, like it's. I feel like it's the one that's more off. I feel like it has the most cases where it's a good idea, and not always the best idea. But I feel like it has the most cases where it's a good idea. Fire, right? Huh. Yeah, maybe. Not hmm. more than that. Bing not, bong. Not like a go-to. Is that the next one? What? The, the magnetic cooling unit. What? Giga strong. Really? Basically, magnetic cooling unit. You can, uh, with the right mods, you can shoot the EPC for it, its entire ammo pool without it overheating. Um, but hold on, that was a cut over clock, Tyler. Oh, hold on. Right. That shouldn't be but possible anymore. Um, I did. I don't think it's the entire one, but it's like more than half and it is terrible <laughs> oh shit <laughs> what okay so i thought you were actually being serious about this no. this is the thing this is one of the because because this is one of the overclocks that i've never used <laughs> yeah no i i i am I, I think it's fine it's it's, it's by no means bad but it, I, I it's yeah i mean i guess if anything because i think it's no it's probably a two um but like yeah i don't know it's I think it's um, one of those overclock slash mods, right? For the people that struggle with over overheating and kind of stuff as a mechanic, right? They've always got one, um, and that's this. But you can make a goofy ass build with uh, that thin containment unit, um, unit, tier three T tweaked radiator, and like heat shield. We didn't really need a radiator. Basically, you could just make it so it just never overheats. It's, you pick all the right mods and then do what the hell the hell you want. So, it's kind of what a load of hullabaloo. Look, yeah. you gave it a two. Pretty I don't give a fuck. <laughs> just just give it a two and move the hell on to heat pipe. Right, so heat pipe. This is the other one. This is the overclock that reduces ammo used per charge shot. And it does increase charge speed, which I kind of forgot about. But my god, do you overheat quickly it, at full charge? It makes it <laughs> quite difficult to uh, to charge shot. It's kind of nice as a mechanic. I like heat pipe a lot. I think it's a solid maybe four. Whoa! <laughs> I. No, it's it's a three, if only because charge shots inherently aren't that strong, <laughs> right? Yeah, um, exactly. But so you can use it for burning nightmare. But that's the thing. I was thinking about thin containment field. It's way harder to use thin containment field with this 
the normal. Yeah, no, you don't want that. It's actually work. It's really not good. If you could, if you could make it work, and then you have like way cheaper, like four ammo per thing containment field shot, or like five, I guess, because you have to shoot it. But, huh? Yeah. Look, I don't know. I don't really use heat pipe. Um. It's so three. It's if um, charge shots were inherently better. Um, then maybe it would be more viable. Maybe we think charge shots aren't that good because we. Don't pick the charge shot mods. Maybe that's a case. Um, but as it stands, the Burning Nightmare orb, while good, isn't meta, and using it with uh, the containment field is damn well, near Tyler, The reason why yeah. there's no point taking those um, mods to make the charge shots better is because you're either going to use flying, like Burning Nightmare, which that is just a completely different situation, or the containment field where. You want to pop it. <laughs> um, and then again, you can make that better anyway because because we haven't got to this yet, but we will. There's, they're really... The, 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 uh, you, what everyone's talking about just now, I, I, I'll know what I'm talking about when we get somewhere. <laughs> we get, right, heat bug gets for free. <laughs> gets, yeah. Heavy hitter? Heavy hitter? On the other hand, I'd actually, I don't know, but heavy hitter's really good though. Um, big increase to regular shot damage, um, but you also get a lot more heat. The heat thing's kind of relevant. You, you it happens a lot. I do over heat sometimes, but that's because it's worth. It's good to shoot things a lot. Um, but also you do lose ammo, but it balances out. And it really is plant and burn though that makes this worth using because of how easily you can set things on fire. Right, it's like two shot, like any small enemy, pretty much. Any thing that's a grunt or else any kind of spitter. Like two shots will kill him. It's also great for the sludge pump more than the cryo cannon, though. Like I explained, because it's like you don't have as much ammo. That's the problem. But it's like you can one shot to set puddles on fire and things like that. Um, heavy is just great, uh, and it's very useful. It's like the optimal normal shot build. But I don't know what you think about it. Any at the literally, you you can use any of the three primaries with heavy hitter fire. Literally, um, it just gives you long-range fire for the flamethrowers. You're a fire-making machine. Either, you know, a, a less effective, yeah, um, temperature-shocking machine, um, or, you know, the Harold Burner guy. It, 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 is, it is a build that you could use with any primary, and any primary build, essentially. It carries its own weight so damn hard, um, and was the best secondary until the wave cooker got that singular build which is why i would say that it's a five but i'm really not quite sure technically um if if it's not a five it's like a 4.5 like it's so it's so unanimously the best shit you could put on the ebc right everyone knows heavy hitter is the shit um does everyone know does everyone fucking knows and there's probably some nerd out there who just doesn't. They just don't. <laughs> isn't really a nerd. Uh, no, I guess not. No, like I don't. I don't need heavy hitter. I use. I use plasma splash with magnetic cooling unit. <laughs> yeah, like, maybe we should try that. It's just, it is too fucking strong. It's just so ridiculous. Um, like I don't use ammo on that tier one. I mean, I use a tier 4 one, and it, I still never really run out of ammo, because it just kills things so fucking efficiently. There's no real need. It's what we call What's a delicious piece of meat. That's insane. Yeah, 40 damage per shot, and so you don't lose any, because you take Burning Nightmare. You just get a shit ton of heat. Wait, how much is it, though? Hold on. Normal shots, regular shots, do 5, five heat inherently... Plus twenty five percent of their direct damage is heat, so that's um fifteen heat for free though. Uh, fifteen heat per shot for free, which is apparently enough to set a grunt on fire in one in two shots. Which I don't think that's right. That can't be right because I'm pretty sure a grunt's burn temperature is sixty. Well, whatever, it works. It just works. Okay, <laughs> that's the point. Yeah. What are you doing? Okay. All right, um, but yeah, I I'm still feel a little bit awkward about giving it a five. Um, I don't know why, but maybe it's just because I mean, it's not 
that strong. It doesn't mean it's not. It, not it doesn't mean it's not the best idea. That doesn't mean it's insanely overpowered, though. What was the other? Is there any other fours that we? Didn't yeah, we, we, yeah. Um, the, 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 not, not that one. Um, well, no. Okay, let's just do overcharger, all right? Let's do overcharger. Yeah, it's a like a. Um, I, I was like, I was trying to get one out of my mouth, and I realized it's. All right, so we got plus fifty percent charge shot direct damage and area damage. Because I always do forget the charge shot have an area damage, like direct damage thing. You know, they do direct damage as well. Um, increased plus twenty percent charge shot radius, but also increased ammo per charge shot, and reduced cooling rate. The downgrades aren't the penalties aren't insane, really. Plus two ammo though, you do got the per charge shot. Obviously, you definitely feel that. Um. But you can make it normal, but then they also feel pretty bad. It's weird that it's not as... it's. I feel like it's objectively not as bad as it feels. But it doesn't feel good. Like... Yeah. So we take, we take uh, Overcharger. We take this, and we take this. Actually, no, you don't need that. Um, now you can one-shot Grunts with normal charge shots. Great. Holy shit. What a what a world we live in. I feel like maybe the flying nightmare may be good. But even then, like, it, it, it's just not it. it, it it's, it's once again, it's like heat pipe. It's just that default. Like all the mods, it's just the charge shot damage isn't something you ever need. I think that's that's it. That's the words. Charge shot damage is never needed. Like, in containment field doesn't need it. Uh, Fire nightmare doesn't need it. Um, and you wouldn't use normal charge shot. You just wouldn't. That's not a thing. It's not a thing. <laughs> like, it's just not a, a a thing that people do. Um, and overcharger kind of forces you to because what else are you gonna do? Right? And I'm gonna be yeah. gonna read about the wicks next to you. Overcharger? Overcharger gets a two. I think. Two. Yeah. But are you ever look, gonna use it? Look, we gave both we gave both um that like area damage charge shot damage mods a one, okay? Maybe we don't need to give overcharger a one as well. I think we do to prove the I point. don't think overcharger is inherently the problem. Overcharger should make the charge shots better but it shouldn't be overcharger's job entirely to make them worth using they should be worth using already and overcharger should just make them better i don't think it's actually overcharger's fault i just think it's yeah, charge it, shot overcharger is still unusable <sighs> is it not <laughs> it's not those mods fault either but we gave them ones it's just anything that uses the default charge shot is bad Anything that relies on it or reinforces it um, is bad. But like we discussed, Overcharger doesn't inherently rely on it because of Burning Nightmare. Yeah, but it's not needed. If you're just trying to temperature shock, you don't need that much damage and you don't want it to be less in or inefficient, right? Um, like, it is never a good idea to use it unless you're using default charge shot, which unless through some spiritual awakening and maybe after this video, maybe some experimentation we find out isn't as bad as we thought, um, but even then, it's you never really are using the normal shots unless you're using like plasma smash, right? You never have normal charge shots just sitting in your fucking hole ring trigger, right? No. And no one uses plasma smash because it sucks. Like it's just the issue that I don't know the tier fives fuck around too much for them to be good. Maybe there's an argument for like not using a tier five. To get a build like that, no, it's just a one, dude. Well, fucking, what are you fucking around for? Would you ever use Overcharger? Uh, maybe. <laughs> no, maybe. Yeah, maybe I do. I do. I do know. It's not a lie. Mm. Look, okay, fuck it. This something. This it can change. It's fine. We'll keep put it as a one, but it can change. <laughs> maybe it will. Maybe it won't. But it can. It can. Maybe. 
but maybe not but it's allowed to if we feel it necessary but for now it's a one fine i don't i don't, I don't care i like i like persistent plasma though <laughs> yeah i don't care about persistent plasma all right but it's another thing where the charge shot isn't like a point anymore well well, it definitely is. You're definitely meant to use the charge shots, but you're yeah, definitely but not, not, not meant to the take damage, the damage. Right? Yes, of course, you're not meant to take the damage. This is is pretty good. It's pretty good against most things. It's also... Also... Thin containment field. Because, 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 the two work in tandem perfectly well. Because you still get persistent plasma if you detonate a thin containment field blast shot and it's a bigger persistent plasma but you still get the thin containment field damage whereas persistent plasma actually makes the normal charge shots weaker but it makes thin containment field better with no downsides um, so they sort of hold each other up quite a bit so persistent plasma is just always good unfortunately it just doesn't pair in a way that makes any way that really makes sense with the primaries and that's what makes heavy hitter feel a lot better so I still I do think persistent plasma should actually be a four. Um, that's the thing. It it's yeah it's um really good and a lot of people think it's really good. It's all those are the two sides of it at, at its best basically. With sort of energy rerouting sort of in the middle, where you could be either. Um, but that's what sort of, maybe that's why I want to give it a four because I sort of see it as that and heavy hitter are the two best versions of either side um but it doesn't mean they're equal and actually i don't think they are but i i agree with what you said about heavy hitter in that it's like uh you know it's like a 4.5 so we're not going to put that down but yeah and then maybe persistent plasma is a low four maybe but I think that's fair. As in, they are both optimal because 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 it's kind of more so based on what you kind of want to want to what you want to do, right? If you want to use charge shots, then persistent plasma is optimal. If you don't, as in, I say if you don't, as in, I I don't say if you want to use normal shots because it's like basically if you want to use normal shots or you just want to pair it with your primaries, then use heavy hitter. Heavy hitter is optimal. It's literally just if you don't want to use charge shots, but if you do, then persistent plasma is optimal. And I find it kind of weird that you just don't care about resistant plasma. Well, it's like sticky frames again. Well, yeah, but it's in the sky. Really? Have to be. Well, no, you can't have it all be on the floor, though. Like, literally. You can have it come from the floor. I beg your pardon? No, it's just doesn't tickle my pickle. Yeah, heat pipe does. Great. Well, that's EPC. Um, yeah. Well, it definitely looks a lot worse than the Sabata. Uh, yeah, but there's a very, very clear reason. Yes, there is actually. There, there really is. Like, there really. Hold on. What was the. Oh, yeah. The other one was Plasma Splash, though. I mean, it's its own problem, but um, it is the, the issue of the others is pretty easy to see. Two of the tier fives change your charge shots in ways where it doesn't need more damage, um, which causes overcharger and those two mods to lose all value. And the fact that tier five, the other one, sucks means that that is continuing to be the case. Like if that one was good, um, then it would probably be fine, right? Like if that was a genuine build. Uh, but you would use, you know, fucking, what is it, Plasma Smash, right? Yeah, you use Plasma Smash, and it's good, and then you have, like, Overcharger and, like, the area stuff, and that was good, then that would be a good build. But those that thing sucks, and all the other things that change charge shots are better than just trying to make charge shots better. I mean, Plasma Smash could at least, like, maybe it could change, like, the charged shot direct damage into area damage a little bit as well. Um, then at least maybe you'd actually have some more charge. Or the other way around could be interesting. Where make the ch make the charge shots like really high powered single target shots. There's no way to do that really. 
and kind of wish there was. It's kind of interesting. You know, Path Splash, maybe it could be like even like firing mode. So you switch between one where the charge shots are all area damage or one where the charge shots are all direct damage. I don't know. If Path Splash needs some attention, but obviously normal charge shots are the main I problem. Because Path Splash is new as well. I just changed plasma splash into another um, makes a, a charge shots more efficient. That's what I'd do. Hmm. Does it? Do you not think it needs two effects to stand up to the others? Just straight up, it would just need two things, right? I feel like that's the case. What? Both both the other two tier fives have multiple effects. Yeah, but those effects are inherently kind of gimmicky. And maybe the third one can just be solid, like on its own right. And like it does, it does like that, or maybe something simpler, where it, it just basically is like you just want to use the EPC as the normal gun, pick me, um, <laughs> and I'll just make it more efficient for you. Increase, like you increase really charge use... shot efficiency, increase charge shot damage, and increase charge shot radius. <laughs> oh, I don't think you'd need that because you would then be able to pick the other two for a good reason. Right, because if you pick Think Containment or um, Burning Nightmare, you should never pick Radioactive Shockwave and you know the other one, which has like four words. Holy fuck! Higher charge plasma energy. What the hell is that? Fuck me. That's the top one. The top area damage. Uh, uh. It's got four fucking words. Um, and like overcharge it. Like if it was literally just that that one was default charge shot is better, um, and maybe like um, it does give you something for your normal shot. Um, it could keep Plasma Smash if it really feels like it. But, yeah, I don't know, something like that, and it would probably solve everything, to be honest with you. I think it, it would, if normal charge shots were viable, all of those, um, like, Overcharger dum, and those mods would shoot up dum, into, like, dum, three. Dum, as it stands up. So, oh, moving on, I think. Um, oh, no. Not the wave cooker. Not the um, best thing. <laughs> Not the best. <laughs> no, I... Wow. Okay. Well, we're going to have to see, because so far, we've kind of... I wouldn't say we've... Have we proved ourselves right? Like, with the ones we put in S? Like, I know the, the surge pump is, like, an immaculate oh. like, wave of threes. And, uh, like, and the, the other one was the thunder head. Which... Right? It was literally just those two, though. Yeah. Uh, oh, Thunderhead... The, those were the three we put in S's. Oh, yeah, yeah. Done those two. Well, Thunderhead definitely looks a bit weird. You know, it's got a 1 and a 5 in Tier 1. Uh, that's actually the only really bad part. And then, obviously, Neurotog talking yeah. Bayload as well. Although, someone, you know, the comment section weren't a fan of that, fairness. Um... Yeah, well, they're, they're wrong. They're not wrong on everything, though. Um... Not every yeah, single little thing. Some takes so we're gonna have to reassess. Yeah. After thing. Oh yeah. Mm. That was probably the patch notes. But uh, yeah, um, wave cooker. I always forget that it's called Colette. <laughs> it's just a bit weird, right? So we, so we got tier one, which uh, we got damage plus two, ammo plus one hundred. It's actually magazine size. <laughs> Which you know yeah. is not wrong, but it's it is still total ammo as well. <laughs> but, um, or big old concave belly, times three mm -hmm. shot width, quite a bit. Right, I'm going to jump straight into the deep end. The damage is not the optimal pick here. It's not no. weak, but for most of the things that you want the wave cooker to do, it's really not a good idea. Especially because it actually does result in less total damage than if you take this. And like I said, That's it's just easy. it's just for the wave cooker stuff. Ammo is better, and so I'm is width. That man it off pretty quick, right? Like, yeah. um, just as we you know talked about how the charge shots, default charge shots, are not preferable. Killing things directly with the wave cooker's damage is not preferable. Not, not but really. It's time, got, it's got a couple I think of things. It was on purpose. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world. There are some builds where it makes sense, but those aren't the top tier builds anyway. Um, but okay, so but the ammo and the width, do you think they're equal or do you think ammo still pulls ahead? Um, 
I think ammo pulls ahead, but like not in any notable way. I think they're both still like threes. Um, just the ammo is more generally preferable. But then again, I mean, that much width is a tad unnecessary, to be honest with you. Um, like, I actually only really used uh, the new width recently, because, um, you know, it always used to be bugged. And that shit is, is stupid-wise. Like, I don't even be sorry, but it is literally, like, what are you supposed to do with all that area of effect? Like, it's so much. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I think, you know, the, with the way the wave cooker works, the more ammo you have, the more uptime it's doing unholy acts to Glyphids. Yeah, I feel like it, pretty much every build benefits from ammo. Yeah, they only sort of dubiously... There's only a couple, and even then... that There's only a couple that benefit from the whip, and even then the ammo might still be better. Ammo you know? is a four, whip is a three, damage is a two. Yeah, and that's exactly that. what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. it's perfect. Perfecto. Perfecto mondo. Perfecto monkey. I always forget what tier two even is, um, because it is it is the most negligible one on the wave cooker, really. I think. So we got um reduced heat generation, or more rate of fire, or oh right increased cooling rate and increased cooling rate like you know reduced overheat time. I guess. Um, I guess all are good. Um, I find myself using Rate of Fire the most, though. Well, that's because that's essentially what it is, right? Um, it is... Uh, do you overheat often? Right. Do you want to overheat less? Like, you're not used to it. You use heatsink, right? Yep. So it allows you to kind of exist for longer. Do you still overheat anyway? Then you need, probably should switch to thermoelectric uh, cooler. Um, but have you now mastered overheating and you want to increase your fire rate with larger power supply? That's kind of how I feel like it is. Although, I think heat sink still stays up in that, you know, having a longer time of using it is handy. But generally speaking, thermoelectric cooler is one of those, as mentioned earlier, for the people that don't quite, aren't quite good at handling overheating as a mechanic. Yeah, I sort it, of just naturally take, like I just naturally take larger power supply, but I overheat often. I should probably take one of the others, to be honest. So... so I think overheating on the wave cooker is like some of the least effective like i overheat constantly and don't care like, it's one it's, of the least really punishing like... overheats i think yeah um, um so i don't like, know I think... if any of these really rise above each other though to be honest thermoelectric is a two it doesn't oh. benefit you in oh that one right? oh based right. on what we just said that makes the most sense actually where it's like the, pu the overheat is not that punishing it's worth avoiding though but you know you don't really it's not that bad when it actually happens so which i guess is why that is a free you think it's a free? Because it's still worth avoiding, I guess. Yeah, plus having it up for longer means that you can, I don't know, just have it up for longer, right? It's more manageable. Which with a lot of builds, it's not a bad thing at all. <laughs> no, but the Quite fire useful. rate ultimately often with how the gun works with percentage chance, um, having it that occur quicker in a shorter amount of time um, is kind of too helpful often. So maybe... Three, something two. <laughs> like I would say, I really couldn't say four. I think it's probably <laughs> still three. I think. Yeah, I think three, three, two. Yeah, I don't because it isn't a four in the same way that the ammo is. Like it isn't. It's not the same thing. I think three makes more makes more sense. Um, it's a higher up than this still, but you know, I think both are fi both are fine. You know. Both are fine. Tier three, tier three, densification rate. Um, don't trust this description. Obviously, it is correct, right? But if you base everything off Carl, you'll think it's kind of weird. Um, because it's just meant to slow enemies down while you're while you're firing at them, basically. Yeah. Um, every tick of damage you do does that for a second. Technically, you, you can. Be, well, if you if you just want to slow things down, though, you would be more efficient by just tapping it, though. And then to reset it instead yeah. of just holding it down because it you basically know, means that you have like a second of not shooting that it's still slowing them down yeah it, it does technically it is technically a status effect that lasts for one second it's not literally just only while you're shooting them it does last beyond the shot but whatever Which, um yeah, i think right it's pretty obvious uh densification rate is for sludge part it holds them in your puddles 
it slows them down if you just shot them. It just it's for that. But when it comes to the cryo and the flamethrower, temperature amp temperature amplifier is giga broken. Um, just well, hold on, but, no, but this this upgrade specifically is it though? Is it? It's the tier yeah. five mod that does the work. Right. Inherent? No. In no. Yes. No. 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 Yes. No. Yes. Tier five without is that does the main five, effect that people um, like know about. It's the temper yeah. shock thing. This isn't temper shock. Without tier five, this would not be that strong, but it would still be pretty strong because I you don't notice it with fire because it essentially amplifies, but it fire already does it. Yeah. It I'm, honestly, its, I want to try right? using densification um, rate of fire because that. You know, you don't, so you don't need identification with cryo, obviously, right? No. Um, and, and that's the best thing. Temperature amplifier with cryo is OP, simply, um, because it essentially turns the wave cooker into another cryo cannon. Um, it, you freeze one to two to three enemies in the in, in, in like the front of the horde. You shoot the horde um, of other enemies and those frozen ones with this, like the temperature amplifier mod. You freeze all the other enemies around. But you do it really get, like, still need excellent reactor because otherwise you've got no real way of killing those frozen enemies. Really, correct? Unless you, you know, drills. Um, yeah, but I just mean your secondary can always do it. But if you know, yeah. usually. But if you but, didn't but take excellent reactor, then it wouldn't be able to do it. The temperature <laughs> amplifier is still strong on its own, but with that thing, it is it becomes essentially a must pick if you're using the cryo cannon. Um, I can agree with that, but do you think it's a must pick on the flamethrower? I think it's a 50-50 flamethrower. Then that, um, and so that the, sounds to me like it equals out then. Yeah, Kill. it does, because then the, it, it's, a, it's a no reason to pick for the sludge bomb. It's, yeah. it's a 3-3. Three, three. Okay, I'm good. just saying that I don't think people quite understand how hard this one carries just as much as the other one to be giga fuck OP. Mm -hmm. it, it is... Absolutely evil. The things you can do to <laughs> with some jam for fire. Yeah, um, yeah. This is weird. Like scraping sound you keep making. Do you not? That is. Are you touching the mic at all? I think people might it notice might it. Be my button. Yeah. Oh, because the laptop's on my lap, and I think that's probably scraping the bottom. Yeah. Not, a lot of movement there. It's not terrible, but. Well, yeah, I just mean, you know, this is why I tend to have my hardware on a sturdy surface, <laughs> like a desk. Surface. Well, you know, maybe train your legs. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll get sturdy. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. No, we can make them get sturdy with um, tier four, baby. Tier four. We start. We're getting there. We start. To, we're getting there. All right. Tier four was the moment uh, that we realized that they went hard with the secondaries and they're not apologizing for it. Like, they, they, undeniably, they just did different things. With, Tier 4? The <laughs> so the, these two things, they're both basically... Un, they're both like balanced overclocks, basically, that you could activate, basically. So you've got wide lens add-on. So basically, both of these are alternate firing modes that you activate by pressing... Reload. Both of these will affect nothing until you choose for them to. Yeah. Um, the wide lens add on, when you turn it on, um, you gain plus 25% shot width, but you gain. Um, oh, shit. It's actually a lot of heat generation, assuming that's correct. But apparently. Yeah. Um, oh, it's, it's bugged in that you can't reduce it. But that's because you're changing it to an alternate version of the weapon, basically, I guess. Um, but yeah, you gain shot width, um, but you also generate a lot more heat. Um, or you can have it so that you actually have a tighter um, width um, with increased heat generation, but you, your rate of fire goes up a lot. Now, this is weird to me because I would say that wide lens is probably the better one in if, like, pr on like pretty much every build, though. That's the thing. Mm, no, like I no, because even the builds where it's not all about even area damage, I still prefer wide lens. That doesn't make it better. No, because maybe realistically, not. Realistically, wide lens isn't actually helping you at all. Like wide lens is arguably a downgrade. Not like, yeah, no, I would say that. Like the heat gained is really not an equal amount as to the enemies you're probably hitting more because the area is wider. No, like, and you but you can still control it, but yeah, I think this is why I overheat a lot, to be fair. When I mentioned that, it's actually yeah. because of this. You're guaranteed to overheat if you use 
it's literally like we've gone uh you're overheating but it's still with the first area and just you know it, it's still fun and it's still good like, i'm not saying it's bad i'm just saying that if we're talking about actual genuine usefulness the power supply overdrive is the correct because that one is legitimately the percentage chance thing i mentioned earlier one where you now have opted in for giga increasing the speed of which you would do the thing you want to do. Right? You know, uh, boils, uh, radioactive effects, uh, temperature shock or whatever the other stuff, just doing that quicker. The same with the boiler ray. Like if you actually want to kill them with the base gun, you use this. Right? The This is actually the do it, hurry up now quicker button. Mm. And I think that is really the only actual helpful one of the two of them, but I still think it comes down to pressure, and I still probably have used the area more, but I don't think there's an argument for the area one actually being stronger. Especially since what even is the speed ones, like... Well, it does make it tighter, which means you will yeah. hit less things, and you also do have more heat generation, but not anywhere near as much. Yeah, but um, it's not that bad, really. Especially since if it's like, if the boils, you don't even need to want to hit more. Plus, there's a sneaky little thing that pierces, which goes pretty well. Oh. And the area thing, which is actually what I've got head with. Oh. Because I just have gigafuck area and piercing, so it hits literally everything on my screen. Well, I mean, that's why I like Wildlands add-on, because you can have increased width, but you don't need to sacrifice ammo. That's why I like it. Yeah, that's fair. But, like, I'm... I, I don't like you saying that it's better when it really is. I think it is. I just think... Uh, but I think this feels better. I can... I think that's probably true. No, I, I think it's the opposite. I think people generally think the area feels better. This is why people like <laughs> it definitely doesn't better. feel better because I overheat so much. But, oh, this fucking sucks. But I'm yeah, heating yeah. more things, which makes a lot of my build... Really, that's mainly for Boiler Ray, though, which isn't... You know, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it's yeah. It, I think it goes both ways. I think they're both. You go both ways. Very strong. But I think the the fire rate. I guess we we just differ in this opinion. I think the fire rate is actually. Does that mean we just have to give them both threes? Because you know they're, yeah, they're they're both threes anyway. Which is great. I I really love this. This might. It's like almost one of my favorite. It is a very weird thing to think about, but it's like my one of my favorite tiers in the game. <laughs> Yeah, like, oh, although I think it's really, really interesting how, if you think about it this way, the wave cooker only has four tiers of mods. Those two things don't actually um, strengthen the base gun. No. I suppose it is, in some ways, comparable to the crossbow tier one. Yeah. Right? Because you, should, you, really just, you just should have one of them. As in, they're essentially a part of... The, they're meant to be a part of the base weapon, but they needed yeah. to... That's like the workaround for making it work the way they want it to. Um, it's not. I don't think they exist for the same reasons, but I think it comes off sort of the same way. As in, you just got to pick one of these, basically. But, so they're essentially not modifications. It's just a choice between different ways of. It's weird. I, whatever. Just, blah, 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 blah. Tier five. Whoa. <laughs> Tier, holy shit. Um, sorry. Um, we got contagion transmitter. We got boiler ray. We got. This fucking thing. <laughs> what an awesome, awesome tier. Four, three, five. Okay, so. Just rip that man it off. Like, I mean... Almost definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because, like, Exothermic Reactor is. I think people understand Exothermic Reactor. Right? It's hard to um... It's so face value. Just hit an enemy that is afflicted with frozen or fire, and it will do the opposite effect temperature shocking. Right, and it just that's it, boom. <laughs> right. Yeah, I guess like um, the question is if it's like too strong or not. But I, I, I mean, it definitely is too strong. But it's like, but the issue is though, it's is, very, ex it's, but it's also quite excessive. If if it wasn't that strong, the wave cooker would honestly be bad. I think it, if it wasn't, I mean, obviously it was even giga stronger, right? Because they nerfed that part of the gun quite a bit. Well, it, if it just wave, if it just temp shot everything it touched without spreading the effect necessarily, you could just like tap everything and still temp shock a lot of stuff quite quickly you know 
even if it didn't spread the effect, it could still be quite strong. Um, yeah. Yeah. But I don't know, yeah, it's just... Uh, I, I mean, the spreading thing is... I, I, I have no idea why that's even there. Yeah, I guess the reason why it has to be a five is because it's like, you know, it's it's what you pick for both of the other... both. Um, the cryo cannon and the flamethrower, and it's arguably it's arguably doing more for them than contagion transmitters doing for just the sludge pump anyway, and that's only for the yeah. sludge pump. That's the thing. Um, and then and it's just both of them as well. They they've got a percentage chance. I keep forgetting that because um, it's actually a more reasonably high percentage chance, especially with the fire rate. But it's it's just so much of this gun is just rolling the dice in a really quick succession. Yeah. Well, still, Contagious Transmitter does increase damage output straight up against um, corroded enemies, um, which is pretty good. And then obviously it has the neurotoxin thing. Yeah, Contagious Contagion Transmitter is weird. It's definitely my favourite one of these three, because I'm a sludge pump um, baby. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know how it goes. So I just, I use this, and it's good for... Also, it's the best way for, to do, it's the best way to do direct damage builds as well. Kind of. Um... Yeah. Oh no, it's weird. It's very good. Um, so you gave that a four, which I think is probably correct. I, only because it's not it just it's depends on really it just good. depends on where we're actually going to put boiler rate. So I think three is fine. It's not bad. It's it's it is obviously the least pickable there, but that's only because the other two are so strong, right? Yeah. Really, what it comes down. The thing, yeah. I guess the thing is like, um. The other two are, are almost must picks with their weapons. That's the thing. Yeah. But Boiler Ray is not inherently weak, though. And Boiler Ray is also for the Wave Cooker itself. That's the difference. That's why I like it. Well, you've got one for the Sludge Pump, you've got one for the Temperature Guys, and you've got one for the Wave Cooker itself. And I feel like that's the perfect trinity, really. But Boiler Ray could it, still be better. Yeah, uh, it, like. It is strong, but since it's competing with those other two stuff, like the only reason you like, because generally speaking, you would have to avoid picking the respective one. Like if you're picking the sludge pump, you have to have to avoid picking the like contagion chance to a big boy. But I feel like there are some exceptions where you're using the primary, but not in like <clears throat> the status effect regard, right? Like if you're using like face melter, I mean, spear is not really. The point isn't to be setting them on fire, freezing them, getting them neurotoxin, toxin corroded, right? If you're somehow going into there with the objective to not be doing that, which is difficult to do, impossible, then boiling ray, boiler ray would be, it would be like the preferable one. But that is so commonly not the case. Like boiler ray also absolutely case. decimates tiny enemies. <laughs> yeah, better than any, better like... than anything else. Arguably, yeah. even the, arguably, even the turrets. <laughs> yeah, the the issue is is that Drillin has never really struggled. It doesn't smaller. struggle. It's true. It's just it's kind of I struggle though because of how much easier it is when I use boiler ray. I've started to struggle when I don't have boiler ray because it's just so stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's really dumb, especially NATO sites. <laughs> they just so that it's really funny actually. Um, yeah. Boiler is a lot of fun, but it's uh, the weaker pick. Um... I think maybe if, if Boiler Ray probably, um, if they buffed the tier one damage, Boiler Ray might become more. Yeah. It would also boost Contagion Transmitter, so... which may be warranted. Mm -hmm. But the, well, the point I, I made about the damage, one in t the damage in tier one is like it results in less total damage than the ammo anyway. But, and what I said is that ammo makes. Just because of the what, what you use the wave cooker for most of the time, ammo makes way more sense. So you could at least have the damage should actually be like a lot higher when you take the damage mod. I feel like it should probably be like plus four, maybe at least plus three, but it should probably be something like plus four. It should be quite a lot more total plus damage. It would be a nice number due to the it would then be 10 damage. Yeah, also, I, hold on, because obviously this tells us that's 2800, uh, that's 2700. So probably plus one would probably dip it over. A good amount. And yeah. That, and that would inherently make Boiler Ray a little bit more preferable. Because it would actually kill things slightly better, more reasonably, and then... Yeah, but I still think your original rating was correct, I think. The problem is, I don't... What issue would you have? 
I don't have an issue. I just don't know how. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't. I don't have an issue specifically. Um, I just don't feel it. Like I'm not that. Like I'm not. I'm not hundred percent comfortable with it. But I don't have a specific thing Agent's that it doesn't work life? for. Oh, um, well, that's probably the only other way to do it. But it's probably fair. Especially because we do think Boiler Ray should be a bit stronger anyway. Well, no, I don't think Boiler Ray needs to be stronger. I think the damage needs to be stronger. Then Boiler Ray right, would inherently exactly. go up. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. If the, the gun was better at killing, Boiler Ray would go up. Because it's very good at what it does. It's just difficult to get it to do what it does. And you have to sacrifice not using the other two to use it. And it just doesn't really hold up. But it's not on Boiler Ray. Inherently, it's on the fact that there isn't a mod, well, not a mod, like the mod's not inherently that good, and there isn't an overclock that inherently increases your direct killing ability. And it's arguably, <laughs> it's arguably not balanced though, because of the way it just doesn't, you should probably just be using one of the others in most scenarios. So I guess, yeah, two. I, I, I think I accidentally said three to the contagion, which I don't inherently disagree with. Hmm. Well, really strong. It would be strong even if you didn't get more damage from it. Right? Um, well, no, but not necessarily because the point of contagion transmitter is not necessarily area or crowd clearing at all. It's not. It's all in single target. It's the damage plus the oh, status yeah. effects. It's the damage plus the status effects stacking. It combines. Yeah, but it does also spread clouds of neurotoxin. It's not. Like clearly, they intended for it to spread. There is an intended AOE there, or else they would have just said that it adds a neurotoxin. I know, but it's most of the time it's not like you never get it because everything's you already dead. You never use it. No, is that really on the game if you never use it as an AOE? It's on the game because the sludge pump is so powerful already that it doesn't yeah, need to do that. Yeah, exactly. But it's still useful to stack the neurotoxin on top of the corrosion for more single target damage because. You're going to be waiting around anyway, <laughs> so it's fine. Um, you also get a little bit of more damage. So, uh, yeah, cause I think three is actually yeah, right. fair. But I think maybe bring the temperature shot down, because I don't think... <gasps> uh, five. Well, I don't know, because... It... It's just optimal. Like, but It's like how... Like, it's, you would never use it for the sludge pub, so it's not a five on that, right? <laughs> That's something we can take it down a notch for. Um it's also not, it's still not helping either of them against bosses once yeah, again. It's true. Um, so, right, yeah, let's go three, two, four. Only because it makes the gun look We just brought everything down at one, which is fine because it's still the same differences. So, all right, that's fine. Cool, cool. And, you know, that was, the, you know, that was the meat, but there's still more meat. <laughs> but just, there is because the wave cooker. Is meat except this, which is just I don't know lettuce. But even then, it's not lettuce that like even has that hot, not very nice bitter taste. It's just it's just crunchy water. Once again, it's it's if you if you, if you are still struggling with overheating, um, or you really don't want to have to bother with the overheating, like maybe you're fine with it, but you just can't be asked. But it just this. it just doesn't do anything for the wave cooker for what it's meant to do. Right, you're not helping. You're not helping yourself by taking it because you're just not being as good as you could be for the very specific purposes of the wave cooker. Right, but like if you ignore ammo inefficiency, you putting that and using the temperature shock flamethrower or cryo build, you are no weaker than any other build there. That is true. You don't have as much ammo down the line because you're not picking mega power supply, but you are no weaker. So, but you are not as strong as you could yeah. be compared to any other choice. I guess. Every, like, this, anything, this is like just the latent choice. You are actually slightly stronger because you can shoot for longer, right? Therefore, you could like hold your ground for longer. But the, wa the wave, the wave, the problem is the yeah. wave cooker doesn't not have an ammo problem. It's not something that you ha you can just like. Yeah. It, it it's not the most. It doesn't have the I'm most. It doesn't have the most ammo in the world, does it? Let's be honest. I don't. I don't think you have a, a throne to sit on there because 
you never really use mega power supply. You use the two unstables, and don't both of them decrease your. You know. Who says I don't use mega power Radio supply? Radio decreases your. Yeah, and, and I know you love that, but the actual. Uh, I thought Blister and Necrotis got you. No, it feels like it does sometimes because of how much you have to use. <laughs> I'll admit yeah. that. But don't worry, like, we're not going to be as. Um, I feel like the Blister and Necrotis thing isn't going to be as argumentative as you might expect. I mean, it could be. I think, I don't know, it's probably a two. It's not. It's not... Yeah, that's fine because that's what I was going to say anyway. So, for, li- for liquid not, cooling system, right? Yeah, because it's just like all the others go places for the builds. I just mean it's like just you know the technical just utility making it feel better to use is not what the wave cooker is about, right? It's about doing things with it, not just using it, right? It doesn't matter how good it feels to use. What matters is the actual very specific thing you're trying to achieve. And sometimes what you're trying to achieve might be the things that these two, for example, add. You know, And then you're just completely locked off from things like that if you take... Um, whatever. I was going to give it a two anyway. So. <laughs> um, um, next I'll up is what, Super Focus Lens. I feel like this is a, more of a two than... Those. Maybe. Maybe super focus Cause... lens is definitely weird. I like it in concept a lot, and I don't hate it. In, I don't hate it in practice either. Um, I think if they're within four meters of you, it should double your shit. Like, <laughs> double should, your shit. It should, it should tear them to pieces if they're close range. I, and that's that's my opinion. It definitely like, deserves to be stronger, right? Because it's it's clearly meant to be something you pair with boiler rate, clearly for its own direct it's damage. What I'm um, as doing. in you, well, you would go for boiler rate or contagion transmitter because that allows you to do more damage yeah. as well. Both are good choices, but either way, super focus lens deserves to be stronger. And if that means it needs to be a balanced with some kind of drawback, not ammo, just not ammo, any anything else. But if it needs to be that, that's fine. I think yeah. it should be it should do more damage though. And I think yeah, double is with. Um or like, like, or just less range in general. Maybe don't even have it be like you know That's not a thing. <laughs> don't don't be don't be a dumbass, Harry. <laughs> don't be Well, I guess it is super focused lens. It's like I guess it it'll be kind of interesting, but maybe not at that intuitive where it's like it it's close focused. range. It's like close range but precise, right? You know, but it's like a yeah. lot of damage. It's not a shotgun. You would want... Yeah. It's not you a shotgun. Want, like Yeah, you would want width if it's like melts close range, but you don't get it. Yeah, the... yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can like kill any individual enemy very quickly at close range. So but yeah, maybe think, you know and you, it's you... also it's not completely unusable, it's just it, it, so I think maybe you know if you bring it up to two anyway, I think two is a reasonable clean still, but maybe like two point five if it has like a negative. But as it stands now, it's a two. It's not. It's not a shout. It's not a shout. Um, it's not a shout. But it's also not a uh, drought. I don't know. <laughs> no, it has potential, but it just doesn't come close to living up to it. Yeah. All right. You're gonna maybe have to take the reins here because diffusion ray is not my jam. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, do you think I, it has think... like a genuine, like really prominent use? I think um, it's good with boiler ray, um, because but it's... it also reduces direct damage, unfortunately, which yeah. boiler ray relies on. Which yeah, but you're already not really doing enough, so that kind of I know, but you don't want to hurt it even more. <laughs> you don't want to... Yeah, but you're you're killing multiple enemies in the end of the day, so like um. You know, you're weakening the entire horde, not just one guy less, right? Like, technically, you're gaining a lot more damage than you're losing, if you know what I mean. Technically, right? you are, right? But it's the killing so, killing something quicker will get the explosions quicker. That's the thing. Yeah, but if, like, if everything, if all the three enemy, well, realistically, let's say you're killing nine enemies at a time, because I think that's reasonable, right? Like, three enemies. In a whips, fairly yeah, dense horde, though. Back. It's yeah. going to be a fairly dense horde, but yes. Yeah, um, and you're getting like all of them low. As soon as one of them pops, they're all gone. Like they're they that is that. But is that's like... what boiler rate is inherently though. So I right. You know, because like once you pop it. one, it we everything else is weaker then, and then they'll go down even quicker. So it's like diffusion rate is not needed for boiler rate. Certainly. No, and and uh, it's 
I don't know. It, it's it's not bad, but it's not really needed either. No, um, not needed. It does actually add a, add a bit of slowdown. It does. So it, it does it, do it's that. A double slowdown build. With Is it? Are you sure? It's, surely it can be. So. Hold on. Surely it can be used with the temperature shock build, though, right? Does that? It must do something. Yeah, it, well, it temperature shocks everything. Um, but can... I don't think it's actually any. It's not really needed much. Is better or more it, no. because of how quickly and violently the two temperature shock mods tear through a horde. You don't really need the fusion ray. Yeah, I'd speed it up and slow it down really at all. The fusion ray is maybe something I need to give it a chance, but I can tell that it's just it doesn't. It's not. It doesn't make up any of the the wave cooker's pillars. I know what its pillars are, and the fusion ray does not add to or is not, no, and it isn't I one think, of them either. You know, I think it's it's probably a two with the other three. Um, well, it's like the three at the top are probably all twos. Um, mm -hmm. and I think. You you have the pillars. The uh... right, yeah. Let's just rip off band aid. Mega power supply, I think, is is a solid like four. Easily could be a five. Well, yeah. So mega power supply is obviously um probably the most used one. We got plus a hundred ammo and plus three rate of fire. Right. You do suffer in the overheat department. <laughs> Makes both of those mods quite useful, I guess. Or just at least one of them, the first one. But um, very popular for obvious reasons. It's the most... Because you don't need anything else. You don't need another overclock to enable the temp shock build. So more ammo just makes the most sense. But it's like, is that actually... That doesn't actually make it better. It's just the only real choice that really makes sense. Well, it's, it's magazine size and fire rate. Yeah. Right? You would not only have more times to roll the dice, but they get rolled quicker. So with the... You know, fucking temperature shock or contagion, mega power supply is the best shout. Um, and it's not like it's any really any worse with boiler ray because you uh, not not hurts. not contagion transmitter. Thank you very much. No, boiler boiler it, ray though, yeah, definitely boiler ray. It, but it, maybe it's not the best shout, but it's definitely like tied. Like, like it is a fine shout compared to the radio. Like, because you'll be, I, I, I won't mention it over and over. Already kind of did, but like. It's still unanimously a very, very good shout. Um, the best shout for most of it. Yeah, so time. here's the reason why I might want to give it a five is because you could probably half that ammo bonus. It would still be worth using it in the same amount, like the same number of builds. It probably wouldn't yeah. change anything, basically. It's still going to be the best thing for that temperature build. It's still going to be just as good as it was before for Boiler Ray. Um, as in, it might just be literally too much as in it, it could be a lot less I, and still I, I be worth I using think, i don't think it breaks much it doesn't I, I it's mean, not broken because it's not like you would use anything else really right because i think mega's power supply it, it might be a five but only because i mean look at what we just did three of them are two right what else are you going to pick you might as well pick more ammo because the more damage the better the better overheating or like you know worse overheating, whatever you want to put that way around and the piercing aren't preferable so why wouldn't you pick ammo and obviously the next two are so fucking specific you wouldn't want to use universally unlike the other three so if those three were better mega power supply would probably come down a notch um, so i would say four not a five um it's only it only looks like a five because looking at all those twos looking up it looks like a five okie dokie Um, now the stupid ass thing, um, that's a stupid ass. <sighs> it's, uh, like a f Mistering Blackrosis. <laughs> Three or four, maybe? I actually don't think I can call it a four. I don't think that's quite right. Mistering Blackrosis is... Very weird. Very weird. Doesn't really have any drawbacks, though. Um, that's yeah, the thing. And I, and I think if you look at it... Quite high peaks as well. well. Yeah. You, as a driller, can't get much better burst than that. Than having a bunch of blisters on a Dreadnought and using your primary in whatever fashion it is to tear them to pieces, most likely. The yeah, and they, they, but they have made changes where it works with all of them. Really, 
Yeah. Um, so essentially, restoring necrosis is a single overclock that enables burst damage for all of your primaries, um, which is quite strong. It's 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 quite yeah. strong, and it does it uh -huh. does allow obviously it is quite inconsistent, but it does also allow yeah. the wave cooker to do a lot of damage by itself as well. But that's also a lot of, that's a lot of ammo spent as well. Um, its inconsistency is <laughs> its inconsistency is problematic, definitely. But th this is the awkward part. It's not a, it's not a penalty, right? It's just like it's just not that easy to use. It's just inconsistent and quite annoying in that sense, but it's not actually yeah. making the wave Keep cooker weaker. It's never not felt. No, mm -hmm. it is felt pretty much every time I use this thing. Um, the it, I think it is balanced though. Obviously, the stuff we're saying makes it sound almost bad. I would say, but it's like I think it is balanced though because it's fine that it's not like usable for every build, right? You know, I think it's worth using. If you make it worth using, as in there are builds, really there are builds where it's a really, you know, like a very good pick, right? It's not like it's not like oh, you might as well just use Mega Power Supply. No, because you're going for something completely different. You know, I think Visionary Necrosis is like. I mean, I guess you would probably you have like a secondary thing to this, but like it feels like they made these two overclocks to help enable Driller against Dreadnought. Um, they yeah. really felt like that was a thing they had in mind. Um, because Blister and Necrosis does enable Dreadnought killing with Driller's primaries. Not that, not that the the Sludge Pop didn't have that, it just didn't have the speed. It... No. Um, and yeah, you can use, I mean, the Cryo Cannon, it can, with other people there, be helpful. But now it can probably do it on its own. And Which is why, yeah, I don't know, I think it's a three. I think three is absolutely fair. I feel yeah. like I feel like it would just it would it's, it's one of those ones where it's too um it, it's too awkward to like say that it's really great you know yeah it's, it's not just not free damage it's a a very like annoying damage like, it may be free gameplay wise pretty much but it's not free mental wise but, yeah it's not the only thing they did to killing giant targets for driller. Did though? Did they? Did it though? Did it? Did Not it that that's there? the only thing that gamma contamination is for, because my boy, my fucking boy, I love gamma contamination. I'm gonna, let Harry go on a I'm just gonna just go on holiday or some shit. If I, I could yeah, come back in like three months. If I could marry something from a video game that isn't like a character, it would probably be gamma contamination. Um, if it was a character, who would it be? Oh, uh, uh, Olimar from the Pikmin, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like thumb sized or even smaller. I reckon he's just probably so nice, though. I reckon, yeah, but you'd like not even know he's there, you'd like breathe and he'd die. Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, Gamma yeah. Contamination is just pretty good. Right, I said all that stuff about which I love it. Doesn't mean I think it's the best thing in the world, because it's definitely not, but it is definitely good. And some people don't like it, and that's fine, but I don't, I won't let anyone be saying that it's bad, because it's just not the case. It Because, like, it's re it's amazing with certain sludge, well, it's the sludge pump thing mainly, it's for stacking those effects. I do have a build for it that is, that uses, is, is temperature shock, <laughs> Gamma Contamination. Um... Oh, oh, because for official reasons, I'm not allowed to recommend it, but um, I I use it. It's you, uh, haven't you already done that? Yeah, I did. Not not cryo cannon, right? Cryo cannon's different. The point is, you can actually have it finish things off when you wouldn't normally they would that would normally happen after temp shocking them. Um, yeah, but only if they happen to get irradiated when that occurred, right? <laughs> Yeah, but it's still worth shooting them until they get irradiated rather than... It's more ammo efficient than spending the flamethrower ammo, basically. Um, it's also... It does just make it feel pretty good to use in, in general. It's it's more consistent than Bristol Necrosis. You can use it to easily pick off, like, targets at a longer range quite efficiently. I did the calculations. You can get, like, 77 instances of the effect 
out of it um, on average, um, which is enough. It it does its job. Um, it's a really, really cool status effect. It works for both single target and crowd clearing as well, or crowd control. But single target things come from stacking with the sludge pump mainly, uh, almost exclusively. Um, yeah, it's a really nice bit of kit. But I think for the same reasons of blistering the Crosis, it probably ends up in free. So, yeah, pretty it's, much. It, it pays a price in being an all. It's not as awkward, but obviously you do lose 50 ammo as well. Um. Alright. Um, that's everything. That's all three of them. Hooray! We didn't argue that much. Um, See? As we thought. See? Yeah. Um, Realised the EPC has a bit of an issue. Uh, the barker looks better than it does. Um, looks better than it is. <laughs> it's just because, like, in comparison to itself, it looks all right, but it's in comparison to all the other weapons that it crumbles. Um, like you should, we should probably put like everything, every number we said there needs to be like lowered by like one in the grand scheme of the game. I actually really need to go for a bit. Um, I need to go for a piss as well. Uh, all right, let's go for a piss, and then we'll come back and say goodbye. <laughs> um, no, we're not. What do you mean? So like and subscribe. Uh, we'll see you uh, probably. Uh, Harry will see you tomorrow, or we're streaming. I don't think we're streaming. Uh, maybe, well, wait, it I might be good. This video is coming out later. What? So what? This is, we should be coming out on Saturday, so nothing's happening tomorrow. Don't worry about that. Um, probably you'll see Harry on that Tuesday, um, who <laughs> would have pre-recorded that video as well. Um, so, howdy, hey, see you later. Right. Did you win the video? Fuck. Go. Thank you. All right, he's gone now. It's you and me. Doing nothing. Yeah. I think he's still listening. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell to see all future weapon analyses. Um... <laughs> Amen.